Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Jeff Lindstrom, personal trainer, and today I wanted to give you some content that I shared with a corporate group the other week at a lunch and learn. We had a natural speak, for, natural pass speak for about 45 minutes, and then I had about 10 to 15 minutes to give them some tips on how to improve their lifestyle and incorporating activity in their day. So a lot of beginners there. Not to say there wasn't inter, any intermediate or advanced people, but the general theme of this uh, lecture for myself was to give them some tips that were going to help out more to the beginner side of things. First thing I got them to do is to get out of their chair because they had been sitting down for a while and I would tell that uh, to anybody anyway. We sit too much during the day if you got a computer job. So getting out of your, je your desk is super important. Opening up the chest and shoulders, creating mobility, that'll help open up some chest and shoulder tension that we face from sitting down at the keyboard here and typing away, reaching for our phone, reaching for our mouse. We're kind of creating that protraction into the shoulders. And what happens is that uh, we, we created a little bit of upper cross syndrome, which means we're kind of getting to that hunched position. A mistake that people make in the gym, if they are at the gym, is they add in uh, abdominal crunches. So they're doing the crunches off your back. So, and then I'm simulating that. So what happens is you're creating spinal flexion. You want to avoid that, especially if you're sitting at a computer desk. I never like to slam an exercise. There's always just better alternatives, I would say, that you can incorporate into your routine. My suggestion is to do some planks, so front planks, side planks, if you're not familiar, just look on uh, YouTube or Google them, uh, very easy to do. There's lots of modifications and I can show you as well. But the importance of that incorporating is to get that core strong. So when you're at a desk or you're standing, you have more core stability to support your torso so you'll be more upright. When we're sitting down too much, our hip flexors get really tight. So if this is our hip flexors where my fingers are, our pelvis can get pulled forward to an anterior tilt. If the backside here is where your glutes are, and this is the top of your pelvis where the hip flexors attach onto, you're gonna pull forward, your low back muscles here tightening up, trying to pull that pelvis back to neutral. So it turns into a bit of a battle there. So incorporating glute and hip exercise are important, uh, your core, your mid back muscles, anything to kind of open up that posture and stabilize the uh, pelvis is super important. During the day, I was encouraging people to get out of the chair, like I said, if you're able to talk on the phone and walk around, some people are tied up to their computer as they're working, unfortunately, but if you have the opportunity to walk around your office on the phone, it's awesome opportunity to, again, burn more calories and get yourself out of that desk position. And I heard this idea, I think it was out of New York, where um, a gal down there, um, she basically pitched uh, more wellness to companies as well. So she was telling people to do walking meetings. So what, what would happen is you go outside with your group and you'd audio, video record it, you'd get all the important points taken down and you'd get more productivity out of it because you're getting fresh air, your blood's moving, you're getting a little bit more creative versus sitting in a boardroom all day. And I find that people kind of lose attention span uh, shortly if they're just sitting down most of the time there. So kind of a cool thing that maybe it could work for your environment uh, as an option. Anything to incorporate mobility will help you and your body and your health out. For the beginners, I was mentioning, take the stairs instead of the elevators. If you take the transit on the bus or a train, for example, maybe get off a, a stop or two earlier to get the extra steps in. One of my clients actually was telling me that he's now, uh, sorry, walking into work, and that takes him about 20 to 25 minutes, which is great. And another client is biking into work. So anything that you can do, your body will appreciate it. You're gonna burn more calories 24 seven, and you're gonna feel good about it. I also told people that it's not always about the gym. So a lot, there's some people that are like, well, I don't go to the gym, I'm a beginner, and that's totally fine. I told people like anything that you can do activity wise, like I just joined up a floor hockey league. It's totally casual, it's super fun, I'm meeting cool people, and I love it. It's, it's, it's very enjoyable. I love the gym and I lift, love lifting weights, but you gotta do what's um, enjoyable to you. And you might not go, uh, sorry, you might not like going to the gym. You might like going to yoga, spin class, going for runs, going for hikes, or just going for walks, just anything. It's all suitable to your fitness level. Anything that's gonna create a challenge for you will be helpful to you. If you hate what you're doing as far as workouts go, you're not gonna be successful, unfortunately. So keep that in mind because it's important to do what you enjoy. And I find when you're in a group setting, you're gonna be more accountable and you're gonna be looking out for one another. It is super hard, I find, to be working out alone on a regular basis and find that motivation. Not to say you can't do it, but it's easier to do in groups. And that's why there's lots of classes out there and boot camps and just group settings and team environments. Those things are super popular right now and I think they will be for, foremost going forward because of that, uh, my point exactly there. It's like everybody loves being a part of a group. It's fun, you're getting a workout in and it's an activity. I hope those tips were helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the video. I'll be happy to get back to you. It also helps me give you future content and what I can pro provide to you as well. 
Thanks again for watching the video. I hope to see you soon and we'll talk to you later. Take care.